Hey y'all, my name is Taylor Ashley and I'm the distributor for Lip Sense. Today I'm going to do a full face of Cinegent's makeup and skincare. Um, gotta put my ears on. So first off, I'm going to start with our climate control. This is Miracle in a Bottle. It is the purest hydration you can get. I use this twice a day and it has absolutely changed my skin. It is my holy grail product. Now I'm going to do our daytime moisturizer. I actually use this day and night. I love how it makes my skin feel and it smells so good. Alright, after I rub that in really, really good, I'm going to do our eye illuminator. Always use your ring finger when you do eye cream. This eye illuminator is our eye cream along with our pearlizer, so it gives it a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer touch that brightens up your eyes. Now I'm going to do our lip volumizer. I love this, girls. The bigger, the better. I've been using this for almost a year and I can tell a huge difference in the volume of my lips. Okay, so now I'm going to do our Silk Pore Wrinkle Minimizer. I use this as my primer. I apply it with a brush and you want to make sure that you use, um, you can use your hands or a brush, but you want to apply it in a downward motion. That way it fills in all your pores and all your wrinkles. Okay, so you want to let that dry really, really good before you go ahead with your next step. So you, I'm going to wet my Morphe sponge. Um, whenever, whenever you use a sponge, you want to make sure it is damp. The Morphe sponge is my favorite. You can get it at morphebrushes.com. So now I'm going to do our pearlizer. This gives your skin a glowy, dewy look. This is my absolute favorite to use. You can apply this to your face when you're not even going anywhere and it gives you the perfect, perfect summer glow. So gorgeous. Sorry, my husband called and it made my video stop. So here we go. So I added our pearlizer all over my face and now I'm going to do our color correcting tin and moisturizer in light. I just do a little bit on my t-zone that way it takes out some of my redness. I'm going to use my Morphe sponge and blend it out. See how it just counteracts and makes the skin look like one? So gorgeous. You can actually use this as your foundation. This is what I use on a daily basis when I don't want to do a full face of makeup. So now I'm going to do our Make Sense Original Foundation in Dewy. So I do two pumps. And I'm going to apply it with my Morphe sponge. This foundation is so gorgeous. It gives amazing matte finish. Um, it is smudge proof, waterproof, sweat proof. It's going to last throughout the whole entire day. I mean, literally, you can go swimming in it and it's not going to budge. I have tried so many foundations throughout my life. Like, literally, when I started using makeup, I mean, I've always been obsessed. And this is my favorite. Even if I didn't sell Cinegent's makeup, I would buy it from some amazing girl. I promise you that. It is the best. So pretty. I'm obsessed. Okay, now I'm going to do our concealer. So this is our white concealer and our light concealer. I like to mix the two. That way it lightens it up just a little bit because I am pale. So I'm going to mix it on our uh, collagen night pack top and mix them together. And then apply them underneath my eye in a V-shape. So I'm just going to pat it on there and bring it all the way down to my nose and all the way up to my temple. Then I'm going to do my jawline, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and my forehead. 
in that upside down triangle. And I just pat it in. And remember y'all, make sure that your sponge is damp. So now I'm gonna do my contour with our shadow scents. These are actually cream to powder formula eyeshadows and I love using it as my contour. This is our color Mocha Java. It is the perfect contour color. This is a flat brown brush um, from Morphe. I love all Morphe brushes, they're my favorite. So when you do this, you wanna make sure you go inside your cheekbone and blend upwards. Now I'm gonna do my forehead. And same thing, you blend it and blend it into your hairline. Now I'm going to do my jaw, so I just do kind of an L from my ear down. Not all the way down to my chin, but you want to blend into the neck. That way you do not have a harsh line. So now I'm gonna contour my nose. I have this hump on my nose. My whole family has it. So I do like to camouflage it. So this is a Morphe brush as well. And so when you do this, you wanna make sure you blend down and blend all the way up to your eyebrow. That way it blends together. So what we're creating is a shadow. So that's all cont contouring is about, is creating shadows. That way they appear smaller than they really are. So now I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and blend out. So this, I still have some concealer left over from when I did my, hi, I made my concealer. <laughs> Um, and so that way it blends it out really, really good. So now I'm going to take our natural translucent powder and I screw the top off and I dump it on top of my eye illuminator and then I just tap it in. So I'm using this as baking. So I just apply it everywhere where I had my concealer. Okay, so I'm now going to let that bake a little bit. And now I'm going to get a brush and brush it away. I like to use this brush and then I also like to use this MAC brush that I'm about to use. They're both amazing. <laughs> and now I'm dancing. <laughs> okay, so now this is our bronze dust um, bronzer. I love it. It is so, so pretty. I love that it has a brush and it's already in the tube and all you have to do is shake it and it comes out. I love that you can just throw this in your purse if you need it. It's perfect for traveling and it has an amazing color. So when you put your bronzer on, you wanna always go where you put your contour and make sure you bring it down your neck so your face and your neck are not two different colors. I can never get enough of this bronzer. It's so pretty. So now I'm gonna do our silver, silver rose blush. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink with a hint of shimmer. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some of our toasted rose blush and I'm gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks just to give me a, a little bit extra blush. Oh, 
this color is so gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to use our Sandstone Pearl Shimmer Shadow Scents um, as my highlight. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get enough of it. So when you use this, you want to make sure that you pat it in with your fingers because the warmth of your finger just makes it melt into your skin. It's so, so beautiful. I love highlight. I love to be blinding from Mars. <laughs> the more the better with this stuff. And like I said, this is our shadow scent. So this is eyeshadow that I'm using as my highlighter and it stays all day. Our um, eyeshadows are smudge proof, budge proof. They do not crease. Um, and I love the cream to powder formula. So I put a little bit on my lip and the tip on my lip and the tip of my nose. So now I'm going to put some on my temple. Take the extra and put it on um, my brow bone. <laughs> it's funny to see me dancing in fast motion. Okay, so here are all my eyeshadows that I'm going to use today. We have so many absolutely amazing colors. I uh, tell y'all all this the time, all the time, I do not even use my Morphe palettes anymore. I just use shadow scents every single day. So I'm going to use Candlelight as my base. And I'm going to put that all over my lid with the tip of the applicator. And then I'm going to pat it into my eyelid with my finger. I just love using my finger just because the warmth of your finger helps blend it together. Okay, now I'm going to do Mocha Java. So this is the color that I use for my contour. And I'm actually going to apply it with the tip of the applicator into my crease for my transition color. This is my favorite Morphe brush. It is Y17. Girls, this is the perfect fluffy blending brush. I use this every single day. So when you're blending eyeshadow, you want to make sure you um, do circular motions and back and forth. And girls, if you are not sure about blending or how it looks, my big thing is just keep blending. Blending, 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 blending. <laughs> when in doubt, blend some more. Okay, so now this is Mulberry. This is the most gorgeous mauve pink. So I'm going to put this in the exact same place that I put my Mocha Java. It's all the way in my Her brush. This is a small um, angled brush. 
That way I get it inside the crease and make a V shape. I'm talking to my daughter. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do Garnet. This is the most gorgeous brown. It has a little hint of shimmer. And now I'm gonna add it in a V shape in the corner of my eye to make a more dramatic effect. And I'm actually patting and then I'm gonna blend it out more with my Morphe Y17 brush. And don't worry about um, having some come down your eye because we're going to clean that up later. And I always like to bring the same colors on my bottom lash line. So just as I did on the other eye, I'm going to pat it in and then we're going to blend it with a different brush. Those colors are so, so pretty together. I don't know why, but every time I do my makeup, my nose runs. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to do our rose gold shimmer. This eyeshadow is beyond gorgeous. It is the perfect rose gold with a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I'm going to apply it in the middle of my eye and then I'm going to take it into the corners of my eye, the inner corners of my eye. With this shadow, you do not want to blend. You actually want to pat it. So I do apply it with the tip of the applicator from the tube. And I get a special, like a round, dense brush and just pat in the color. And I'm actually not bringing it all the way across my eye. And you can layer to make it have a more deeper effect, thicker effect. <laughs> so gorgeous. And this is actually a limited edition color. So if you want it, you better get it.
This color is so, so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Sorry, girls, I actually put the wrong one. That's copper rose shimmer. So then let me take that off. I would do this while I'm filming. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add the rose gold shimmer on top of that. So now I'm going to take a small uh, round brush and I'm going to blend out the crease, kind of giving it a cut crease effect. Okay, so now I'm going to take our pink opal shimmer and I'm going to apply it to the center of my eyelid. That way it kind of gives it a highlighting effect. That way it just opens up my eyes. And I'm gonna put it in my inner corner as well and bring it down to my lower lash line. And I'm not blending, I'm just patting it into my eyeshadow. And I do not blend those two colors together, so there is a gap in between the color in the middle of my eye and the color in my um, inner corner. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta remember to pull my mirror down. Now I'm just blending everything together. Okay, so now we're gonna do our eyeliner and I'm gonna use our Onyx Shadow Scents with a Morphe angled brush. I scrape off the excess on the tip of the wand and I start in the middle and then work my way down and into my inner corner. This is my favorite brush to do eyeliner it is the perfect one to get a beautiful straight wing. So when it, you're doing your eyeliner, you just want to kind of, it's like a puzzle. You wanna do that in the middle and then connect it. That way you're not trying your best to do a whole entire straight line. So when I'm doing my wing, I start on the outside, bring it all the way down, and then you want to draw a straight line from the tip of the wing to the middle where you started. And if you need just a little bit more shadow sense, you can take some off the tip and fill it in. So y'all, this is eyeshadow. If you're not familiar with shadow sense, it's smudge proof, budge proof, and it stays all day. That's why I love the creaminess of it um, to do my eyeliner. So 
same thing on this side. You're going to start in the middle, bring it all the way down, and then also from the inner corner up to the middle. So you want to do straight line down and then a straight line across to connect in the middle of your eyelid. Every time I do my makeup, my nose runs. I have no idea why, but it always happens. So sorry, I have the sniffles. <laughs> So now I'm going to brush my eyelash extensions. Girls, these things are the best. I've had them for a year and I'm never going to not have them. They save me so much time um, and I wake up with gorgeous, gorgeous lashes every day. So I do like, when I'm doing my extra glam, I do like to put some mascara on them just to give them that extra length. I do not do this every day, by the way. <laughs> this mascara that I'm using right now is Benefit Cosmetics and it's called Roller Lash. This is by far my favorite mascara I've tried. It has these little hooks on the applicator that grabs lashes you didn't even know you had. Um, so if you haven't tried it, it's Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash. And this mascara too also does not leave residue. Like sometimes when your eyelashes would hit your skin, it would leave like a black mark or a smudge. This mascara does not do that, which makes me even love it even more. Uh oh. <laughs> when you do that, you just get a little cute up in my throat. Now I'm using my Morphe sponge just to blend it out. So now I'm going to do my brows. I use Benefit Cosmetics um, Brow Wiz. This is my favorite um, pencil that I use. And I use color 3, which is a light brown. And when you want to fill in your eyebrows, you want to make sure that you're using a color that is lighter than your hair color. You don't want your eyebrows to be too dark. You do want them to look like eyebrows. <laughs> so when I do it, I start at the bottom um, and I fill the bottom in and then I, I fill just right before my arch and all the way back to the tip and then I fill in little hairs at the front. Now I'm going to use Brow Food Brow Gel. These have, this is the best brow gel that I've tried. It has little gel flecks in it that actually look like real hairs. And so when you apply it, it just makes your brows look even more fluffy and full, which that's the style that I love. I love big fluffy eyebrows. And that color was brunette, by the way. So I'm now going to take Sandstone Pearl Shimmer and I'm going to put it on my brown bone just for a highlight underneath, which it brings the eye look together. And I'm using my finger just like I did as my highlight on my cheekbones. 
your finger, the warmth of your finger just makes it melt into the skin. So now I'm just taking a flat brush, Morphe flat brush, and cleaning up the edges on the bottom of my brows. So now I'm taking Candlelight and I am going to clean up underneath my eyeliner so that way it, my eyeliner actually creates a stopping point where my eyeshadow ends kind of, kind of thing. Um, I love doing this and it cre creates such a clean, clean look. And that's why I love this Morphe sponge as well, is because it has that angled side to it that allows me to kind of not cut the crease, but cut the eyeliner, <laughs> if you want to say that. So now I'm going to take some more of our bronze dust and just clean up the temple area where I applied the candlelight. And I just went ahead and just put a little bit more bronzer because you can never have enough that stuff. <laughs> so there it is. So now I'm going to spray my um, MAC Fix Plus Rose Water. This stuff smells so, so good and I'm using it as my setting spray. I Every time I do my makeup, I use a setting spray. What it does, it, is it just locks in your whole entire makeup and it makes it last all day long. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my lip scents. Today I'm gonna do our limited edition Glam Doll. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous maroon color. It is, you can use it in the winter time, the fall, the spring, the summer, everything. So it's just so pretty. So now I'm gonna dry my lips off and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all I shouldn't have used that. It left little cotton pieces. <laughs> so don't do that. So get a rag to clean off your lips and then dry it that way. So when you do your lip scents, you wanna make sure you shake up in the tube, that way the pigment is all even when you apply it to your lips. So glam doll, there it is. So when you apply your lip scents, you wanna make sure that you keep your mouth open. I like to use the tip of the applicator to use as lip liner, and then I fill in the middle. And each, um, so the top lip from the bottom lip, I dip it into the tube for more color and then wipe off the excess. With lip scents, less is more, so you wanna make sure you do wipe off and not do thick layers. And in between each layer, you wanna do about 15 seconds. So here's the second layer, I outline and then I fill it in. <laughs> My little girl in there was singing. So we're gonna let that one dry and then do our last third layer. That is such a beautiful color.
And there it is. So now I just got to put my gloss on. So let that dry again for about 15 seconds. And it helps if you use something to dry your lips. But that way you don't have to wait extra long. So now I'm going to do our glossy gloss. And our gloss is what locks in our color and makes it last 4 to 16 hours. And there it is girls, my full Synergits makeup with my lip scents. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I hope y'all enjoyed as much as I did making this video. And our lip sense doesn't budge and neither does this makeup. <laughs> Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.